Today is the 18th Sunday in Ordinary Time, and our theme is Holding up treasure for oneself is madness. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. At that time, one of the multitude said to Jesus, Teacher, bid my brother divide the inheritance with me. But he said to him, Man, who made me a judge or a divider over you? And he said to them, Take heed and beware of all covetousness, for a man's life does not consist in the abundance of his possessions. And he told them a parable, saying, The land of a rich man brought forth plentifully. And he thought to himself, What shall I do? For I have nowhere to store my crops. And he said, I will do this. I will pull down my barns and build larger ones, and there I will store all my grain and my goods. And I will say to my soul, Soul, you have ample goods laid up for many years. Take your ease, eat, drink, be merry. But God said to him, Fool, this night your soul is required of you, and the things you have prepared, whose will they be? So is he who lays up treasure for himself and is not rich towards God. The Gospel of the Lord. Jesus said, Take care to guard against all greed. For though one may be rich, life does not consist of possessions. The cause of all evil is greed for money. Disputes are bound to arise when the accumulation of the goods of this world becomes one's sole objective in life. Jesus does not despise material goods, but is showing us that he is not controlled by them. He is interested in a different kind of inheritance. He is thinking about the kingdom of God that will be inherited by the poor and by those who will spend their lives in service of others. He is thinking of the eternal life that will be inherited by those who leave everything to follow him. Where did the farmer go wrong? Why is he called foolish? The farmer has no thought for his wife, children, friends and relatives. There is no room in his thoughts for his workers. All he thinks about are crops, barns and wheat. They are his idols and nothing else matters to him. The second actor is God. That very night he calls him to account for his life. Obviously, God never does anything like this. Jesus never condemned riches. Rather, he taught that the worthy should share what they had with those less fortunate. The mistake of the rich farmer lay in the fact that he stored up treasures for himself without a thought for others. Greed is incompatible with the gospel. Is the gospel of today meant only for rich people? Jesus is speaking of all those who store up treasures for themselves. The poor can have the heart of the rich. The poor student who studies day and night and tells himself, one day I will have a big car and servants and a large house also has the heart of a rich person. Let us pray. Jesus, Divine Master, through this parable you teach us how material wealth should be used. May our hearts be open to the needs of others so that we may use our material wealth to be at the service of others. Amen.